Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to a GameStar presentation. Tonight, we will be bringing you the grand final of the Bronze, Silver, and Gold Gold Coast Tournament. This will be Game 2 with uh, Tang and Friends taking a convincing lead in the best of three series. We'll now see if OG Kush or OG Gaming have an answer. My name is Coldblood, and joining me in the studio, it will be Identikit in uh, her debut in yes. the League of Legends casting scene. Pretty exciting stuff. <laughs> Thanks for that, Cold Blood. Y you're nice not actually sure here. what's going on. So we'll um, you know, we'll go with it. I actually can't see anything. So. Oh, that's okay. Uh, hopefully you can look it up on the stream and add your two cents whenever you have an opinion. Oh, thank you for that. Do I want to go out with Blake? <laughs> I, I, would have, I would advise against that. Shout out to uh, Make Me QQ who's saying hi, Mac. And uh, we we're, we are into the champion select here, guys. So we can see that Lucian has once again been picked up by Tang and friends. So we'll have to see if Maka can uh, pull the black man skills out once again. We can see the exact same team comp coming out by OG Gaming, which uh, can be both a blessing and a curse. So so far we've got very similar champions to the last game, Identikit. How how did you think it went? Oh, that was a pretty awesome game, you know. Yes. Um, Tang and friends taking it out was <laughs> it's pretty intense, I tell you that. No, yeah, they did very, very well with uh, Maka just going absolutely nuts on the Lucian. Oh, he was. That Maka, I tell you. Great guy. <laughs> okay. So, uh, we are now into the second picks for Tang and friends. They do have the Olaf this time. Uh, wondering if that will be going into the... Oh, actually, uh, I don't know. We do have the blackout, so the summoners are blacked out, ladies and gents, just so the the players cannot, um, well, look on the stream and see what is going on. And Steve the Yag, who uh, was in... Oh, what was the team's name? It was um, Smart... No, not Smart Casual. Um, they versed Maka and Fre oh, Tang and Friends the other day. Uh, SKT1, John Patrol. So shout out to Steve the Yag, he did very well in that game. Unfortunately, they could not make it through. Udia and the Zyra will be picked up, so we'll be seeing the return of the Plant Lady with uh, the introduction of Bear Man. With uh, Blake still looking for an answer here, Identikit. Oh, what? Does he want to go out? <laughs> oh, no. Blake, yeah. I don't know. Bad luck, Blake. You, you struck out. <laughs> will you being colorblind come between us, Blake? <laughs> he he won't be able to tell if you're bleeding blood or or ink. <laughs> that that could get in the way sometime. Could it could. Oh, Cassidy gonna be locked in by OG Kush. Looks like Grandpa Cyril is uh, ready for a little bit of roaming of his own. Try and get the kills rolling for his team, and immediately we see the Fishman Fizz locked in there. Uh, we're not sure who's going where. If the uh, the champions will be played by the same people. And uh, Blinkstar is asking if uh, Blake can have a second chance. I'll answer for <laughs> her. No, bad luck. <laughs> As uh, oh, now I, I'm I'm the bad guy now. <laughs> I'll, I'll stay out of it. No problem. <laughs> okay, so almost the same comp coming out of OG Kush this time. They have Graves instead of Jinx and Cassidy instead of the uh, the Cannon. With uh, the other team, they will have the exact same bot lane. They've got Maka on the Lucian and Sunwa on the Zyra. This time they've got Fizz in the mid. Udia will be going top as uh, we can now reveal the summoners. So Mendrix did play the Udia mm. in uh, the game they won against SKT. Did a lot better than his previous go. And uh, McNugget XD will be the Olaf in the jungle here, Identikit. Uh, yes, as, he will uh, be. You're, you're I You're can tempting. see that because um he has a what's it called a the the, the, the nope <laughs> forgot the word <laughs> damn <laughs> hate that, when that happens you're you're tempting Blake in the Twitch chat I think this is what's called oh maybe tease. I am yeah <laughs> what what can I say <laughs> oh the poor he, guy he deleted me he deleted me on LOL, so oh, what it's over guy. apparently oh over before it begun. <laughs> Okay, so we're waiting to get into the skin battle here and see what skins will be coming out from these guys. Um, the the jungle now will be Jarvan versus Olaf. Sorry, I, I hope I don't bore you here, Identikit, with all my boring nerd talk. 
You'll have to add some color in once I nerd. Uh, uh, finish my monitor. Bit of a nerd myself, don't worry. Oh, okay, cool. So uh, we've got Bruce Vi on the Javan once again, and he did quite well on that. Just uh, was not quite tanky enough to stand up to the outrageous damage that Idiot Q managed to bring out. We'll be against Olaf, who trades some of the ganking potential of Elise for more sustained damage output. He is quite dangerous in the early to mid game. So the Tang and Friends guys, they've got a little bit more damage coming out of the jungle rather than uh, the cocoons that McNugget XD was landing quite well in the previous game. And I'm not sure how Udyr does against Shivana. I think he might actually have a lot of trouble. As Shivana not gated by anything except low cooldowns, Udyr can go oom um very quickly. So Mendrix may be in some trouble here. Yes, Is definitely. <laughs> Maybe. Okay. I think I remembered the word, smite. Smite, yes. There you go. I can tell he's a jungler because he has smite. Yes, yeah. it uh, definitely helps the smite in uh, securing the Baron and the it, Dragon. It does indeed. <laughs> You're right. You're doing bloody well so far. Um, and in the mid, we've got Cassidy versus Fizz, so some very mobile assassins going to be uh, jumping around. Uh, Grandpa Cyril definitely wants some revenge from the previous game, I think. Was doing quite well on the cannon, but... Uh, could not get the slicing maelstroms off quite enough. As, uh, the game will be starting soon here, Identicate. Are you excited? I'm so excited, you know. Find out I'm not, who wins I'm not choosing sides because, uh, you know, obviously, that'd right. be a bit unfair. But if I had to choose, I'd probably go for uh, Tang and Friends. Oh. Mainly because Mecha or Idiotech it, or... Idiotech or... Whatever hey, you, you want to call them. You got them. that in the first one. I, I was just calling oh. them Idiot Q. <laughs> no. I was getting that wrong, like, the all of last game. What does Smite do? It, like, I don't actually know what it does. It just, you know, it, it does, I've, it I've used a, it. I've deals definitely a large used amount it of damage to it does, uh, you're non heroes right. to, to a creep or a, a minion or Creep and Baron. minion are the same thing. <laughs> yeah, you know, whatever. That's <laughs> nah, all right. Good times playing League Yeah, we're Legends. getting there. Yeah. Um, have you ever played as the J4 or the Olaf? I have not. I have you know, I main Ash. Don't like to talk about it. Um, oh, on, only only very skilled people can play Ash. Only losers play Ash. Oh, no. Anyways, um... <laughs> no, Ash is awesome. She's she's great. You know, anyone who says Ash is for losers is clearly not uh, never seen a good Ash. Anyone who says that has clearly not seen my alt. So you know. <laughs> oh, it's cross, it's easy to get the map kills. Yeah, well, we'll have to see if uh, Sona Lisa, she she did a very nice snipe with the Super Mega Death Rocket in the previous game, taking down Sunwa. Graves is uh, kind of the opposite. He has no cross-map abilities. He has very up-in-your-face, smash-you-in-one-combo type of abilities. So we'll have to see if Sona Lisa has a broad spectrum of uh, the range of her damage dealing. As <laughs> Action 17 pointing out your accent, he must live on a farm. <laughs> where he has fun with the sheep, so he tries to hide that by making fun of the New Zealanders. Ah, uh, yes, I see. <laughs> hmm, Got, yeah. Uh, uh, one of our casters, Crisis, is from South Africa, and he lives in New Zealand, and he loves it when uh, an arrogant Aussie has a go about the sheep in the Twitch chat because he, he lets rip into them about how Australia has more sheep and whatnot. So it's uh, <laughs> always very exciting. I just kind of cower in the corner as that happens. <laughs> I see. You're going to do the uh, skin skin battle oh, there? Oh, yes, of course. We've got Spirit Guard Udia on the Mendrix. We have Brolaf. We've got Fisherman Fizz, who throws out the seal <laughs> as his ultimate. And again, OG Kush not bringing too many skins to the table. We've got Riot Graves, who uh, he, he makes a very cool pew-pew sound when he attacks. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, definitely going the way of Tang and Friends once again. Yep. I'm personally going for OG Kush. I'd love to see a Game 3. Uh, but we will have True. to see how everything happens here as... Uh, well, well uh, the the only thing that's changed in the bottom lane is Sona Lisa's rock and the graves, rather than the very flat chested Jinx. And uh, <laughs> we'll have to see if that change ends up benefiting them. There's definitely a lot more upburst damage if Little Vane can get the engages on. <laughs> okay, so it looks like uh, Static is uh, oh is looking for a good cast. So let's try and deliver here, Identicate. I'm sure you will add a heck of a lot. To uh, well, to the color at least. Yes, I'll, I'll definitely um, <laughs> color it up. For sure. Actually, started a 
thing in the chat before, everyone went purple for me, so you know. Oh, really? Yeah. Is there, I think Must two, have missed that. Two people who were still purple. <laughs> so they, they abandoned you as soon as they joined you. Easy oh, come, easy well. go, I guess. <laughs> Okay, so we uh, we will go over the player names. If you'd like to do that for us, identikit, if you can see them uh, down oh, the left, if you want to read the I names. Can I see them? Out. Yes. I don't think I can see them. <laughs> you read them. Okay, so on the side of uh, OG Kush, actually, guys, I'm going to have to uh, switch that one around. Sorry, that's my mistake. As uh, Oh, actually, there is there a fight going on. Of course, these guys are going to try and start fights while I'm uh, fixing up the scoreboard. So, of course, uh, OG Kush is on the left. So we'll uh, quickly change. There we go. So OG Kush are on the left-hand side as the blue team. We'll quickly get the score up. There we go. And, uh, of course, the score is wrong immediately. Um, one down here. Save. And uh, Sorry, guys. One sec. There we go. OG Kush are at zero. Tang and Friends at one. And we will go through the teams here. So representing OG Kush in their, uh, or hopefully their win to even up the series, will be Beast on the Shivana. We've got Bruce Vi on the J4. Little Vane will be once again the Leona, his partner in crime. Sona Lisa on the Graves. And we have Grandpa Cyril in the mid as Cassidan. Do you think you can go over the, uh, the Tang and Friends guys for us? Um... If it wasn't so blurry, I could do that. Oh, but, you know, sorry. Yes. Uh, I, I would have loved to, but... <laughs> <laughs> okay, no, that's my fault. Sorry about that. Putting you on the spot a couple times in a row and it doesn't work. <laughs> I'm, I'm so sorry. <laughs> no, 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 that's my fault. Don't worry. So, I am Woodsy. We'll be in the mid lane as the Fisherman Fizz. We've got uh, Idiot Tech, Idiot Q, or Maka on the Lucian. We'll have to see if he can do as well as he did in the previous game going up against the Rough Graves. We've got McNugget XD in the jungle as the Bro left. Going to be chugging all the Greggy Ice. Sunwa on the Plant Lady Zyra and Mendrix will be Spirit Guard Udia up the top. And uh, I'm wondering how this is going to go for uh, the OG Kush guys on the blue team as uh, like we said the only change is there's a shotgun instead of a, a rocket launcher and minigun. And, uh, and mid lane going to be interesting as well. Definitely going to hand it to I Am Woodsy early on, but once uh, Grandpa Cyril picks up the ultimate, suddenly able to jump around every two seconds, it will uh, make it very difficult for Fizz to catch up. And uh, not a whole heck of a lot going on at the moment, identically. Uh, yeah, not much. Just kind of, you know, starting the game. Starting it off nicely, not jumping in too soon. Yeah, the uh, both teams playing quite conservatively conservatively here there is You're a playing it safe this is the match point they call it in tennis not sure if you play tennis uh yeah i actually used to play tennis as okay. a child you'd know more about match point than me so uh, was a bit of a prodigy oh so you'd know the uh, the psychology of when you're on the precipice of winning or losing it uh, becomes a lot more intense. Yes, it does. You're right. Certainly. So if you can keep an eye on the Twitch chat and uh, make some shout-outs to people, I'm oh, sure, sure, sure thing. they'd appreciate that while I uh, do the nerdy stuff in the game up at the top. We can see... Uh, actually, Mendrick's doing a lot better than I thought he would, but uh, Bruce Vi going to be coming up here. I don't think Mendrick's caught sight of him, so this could be the gank going on here. Going to pop the turtle sense and instantly ghosts away. Will Bruce Vi land the knock-up? He will not. Mendrick's going to try and juke it out. He does not have any motion ability left but he is fast enough to sprint out of there meanwhile in the mid we can see grandpa Cyril and Iron Woodsy jumping back and forth as uh, Bruce Vegan will run onto the recently placed trinket ward and uh, this that was actually a great gank by Bruce Fire despite not actually landing the knockup or anything it caused a lot of damage and mana uh, well mana removal on Mendrick so it's it's gonna be much harder for him to keep up with Fizz, as we can see Bruce Vi in the mid lane here, Iron Woodsy going to use Jarvan as a, uh, a bit of a lever to try and get closer to his tower, and is forced out there, so Bruce Vi once again forcing an enemy back, doesn't blow any summoners, but forces him to recall, which allows Grandpa Cyril some breathing room, and bottom lane, not much has happened just yet. Uh, shout out to Alana and Zarns. You know, oh, from Macca's girlfriend. From Macca's girlfriend down yeah. there. She she was demanding that you cast it with me. <laughs> she, oh, she should she should be it. casting too. She's oh well, she's very welcome to jump in the Skype chat with us if she's up for it. Yeah, come on, Alana, jump on in. Okay, if you can add her to the Skype call, she is very welcome. Oh, do you I'll, know how to do that? <laughs> I'll see if I can do that. Okay, looks like we caught her by surprise, putting two girls on the spot in this game. I'm such a jerk. 
As uh, Bruce Fire waiting down at the bottom lane here, the roots will land on a little vein, but uh, Leona known for being quite tanky. Sunwa has uh, this time gone for the Ancient Coin. They don't know that Bruce Fire is around the corner, but uh, McNugget XD going to be running into the tri brush here and is going to be coming around. There is no vision for the blue team. Little Vane may possibly be going down there. McNugget XD going to be coming forward, but nice flash by Little Vane. Going to get him out of there as the Ignite from Sunwa was down. Sona Lisa going to avoid the Grasping Roots. Gets hit by Undertow. Maka going to do a lot of the burst damage there, but not enough in the end. So blue team forced back. And where's our Alana, buddy? She doesn't want to join. Oh. What is this? I know. Chicken. I think that's what we'll have to say. <laughs> There's two girls, one claw bud, says Blake. So don't get any funny ideas here, buddy. I like a girl over in Wagga. <laughs> which is not New Zealand, so uh, I'm good. Uh, at the bottom lane, we can see the CS looking quite even. So at least taking a little bit of a uh, little bit of a lead, and of course Graves very very strong in the mid game if he's able to get up and close, uh, up close and personal in the faces of the enemy beast. Going to be farming away at the top. Mendrix has picked up the tier, so we'll be able to charge that relatively quickly. Uh, both of the assassins in the mid getting close to the ultimate stage. I'm Woodsy going to be jumping onto Grandpa Cyril blows a lot of mana just for a little bit of damage. Uh, all things said and done, and McNugget XD is working away at the white, and um, I'm being called up by <laughs> a bunch of people. Oh, actually, down at the bottom lane. Wow, we missed that one. We're going to have to jump back and see exactly what happened there, Identikit. Yes, we are. As, uh, do we have Macca's girlfriend in the chat now? We do not. Oh, that's Cub. That's okay. Cub. Thought he might want to join. He's Okay, so welcome, Cub. Hopefully you've got a voice. I hope you have a voice, Cub. <laughs> he's got a uh, "You Mad Bro" picture, so he's uh, wouldn't be with, surprised. With a little Timo hat there. Yeah. Oh God, the the, <laughs> the 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 face of Satan right there. <laughs> okay, so very well done by OG Kush down there. Little Vane picking up the first blood. Poor Sunwa. I talked about it in the first game. Zyra, very very squishy. If she gets jumped onto, she's not going to be getting away from that one. It looks like. The uh, Tang and Friends guys, they want some revenge. Earth will land onto Sona Lisa, will not Earth more the lobster. The barrier will be used, but Mac gonna flash forward and uh, pick up that one. Falling quite low though, and uh, looks like Cub not yet found his voice. It's not good enough, Sam. <laughs> okay, so I'm getting called by another group, but I'm happy sitting here in this call with you, Identikit. Oh, thank you. So <laughs> uh, do we have any more call outs in the Twitch chat? Did he pick up? Did Sam pick up? Yeah, it says he's in the call. Sam, hey you're guys, in the call. it's Cub here. Hello. How are you? Mr. I'm good, thank you. Mr. Timo picture that scares me. Trust me, trust me. <laughs> Don't get scared. Don't get Just scared. embrace. Okay. Embrace right. that beautiful picture. <laughs> okay, so do you know anything about League Cub? Um, I heard Anivia is a really strong champion. <laughs> <laughs> Well, uh, Macca's fan club was calling for the Anivia pick, but uh, unfortunately Macca letting us down by uh, picking once again at the Lucian. Now mm. as the BF sword, Sunwa is uh, roaming down, has the sight stone, still sitting on the warding totem for now, wants a little bit of the added security. Solar flare available for Little Vane, we'll have to see if Macca gets jumped on down here. Doesn't have flash, does have a barrier though. Uh, so we'll have to see if Sunway is enough. The engage is going to go off. Idiot Q gets jumped on. Instantly jumps out of there. Collateral damage is available for Sona. Lisa, oh, in the mid lane. We're going to miss a kill by Tang and Friends. So just going to quickly jump back 15 seconds here. Looks like Bruce Fire did come in, but I Am Woodsy did uh, manage to avoid that one in the end. McNugget XD getting a huge amount of damage down to Grandpa Cyril. Did not get the cooldown reduction from hitting I Am Woodsy and ends up falling. Ragnarok is popped and a lot of damage. He's going under Bruce Fire. Double kill for McNugget XD. Will the minions take him down? No. The sustain from Vicious Strikes will keep him up. And Tang and Friends taking a delayed, uh, well, a delayed lead here as Beast wanders his way down but can't find anything except a few minions. Oh. Okay. Yeah, if that pick was Anivia instead of Cassidy, <laughs> he would have got away. He would have got away. Oh, actually, Cassidy's a lot more mobile than Anivia. No, no, no. Um... Anivia is the best. Oh, she can turn into an egg. That is true. Yes. <laughs> um, uh, we've got 
some uh, oh cub is uh, in the other Skype call so cub if you can get uh, identikit into the other Skype call we'll see how we can go about having <laughs> seven casters at once okay I'm all invite you you better invite me <laughs> okay so um, as soon as she joins that call I'll uh, head on over to the, uh, the the twitch chat all going to cast together it'll be great all right so I'm trying to keep up what's going on in the game but I uh, more I'm, I'm off all right let's join the call all right. Hello, everyone. Hey, mate. Okay, yeah. so uh, everyone want to introduce yourselves in a timely fashion. I'm Woodsy going to be flashing out, tries to get the Urchin Strike to get away. Cataclysm will be avoided there. Bruce V jumped on by the Olaf and a killing spree picked up by McNugget XD there. Sorry, guys, do you want to try and introduce yourselves? As uh, Mac are going to get jumped on down here, players, please stop making things happen. I'm trying to get the casters all introduced. There's about seven of them. Mendrick's seven going to be jumping, jumping down at the bottom. Culling goes out, does a little bit of tickling down at the bottom. Little Vane going to be flashed on. And, uh, I can hear yeah, myself no, coming myself out of King's Josh, Josh. Hello, turn your thing down, mate. Hey, mate. Okay, oh. so, uh, everyone want to introduce yourselves in a timely fashion. I'm Woody going to be flashing out. Oh, I'm hearing myself on the stream. There we go. McNugget XD going to be taking down the dragon. So how's it going, guys? Yeah, that's good, mate. Good, good. You want to try and introduce yourselves now that uh, the players stopped running around like headless chickens? Um, I actually think Mendrix is better than Trick2G. Oh, oh. the new Udia? Yes. I think he stole it off him, do you reckon? Yeah, I can't. can get the UD, you think? Yeah. And he did wander But that many solo queue games would hope. This guy isn't like a thousand. So no, don't worry, it's fixed. <laughs> well, it's the fixed. difference is Mendrix has gone Phoenix, whereas TrickDG loves abusing the, uh, the, the tiger dot damage. Step up your game, Mendrix, mate. <laughs> Okay, Beast Proxy farming down. Oh, down at the bottom lane, Maka falling very, very low. Little Vane going to try and get a snipe off. Does not have Solar Flare available. Maka barely escapes there. And uh, I assume we have a few members of Maka's fan club in here. Why doesn't he play Vane support? If, if Idiot Q was a Nivea, the game would be over now. I don't, I don't understand. Yeah, we have, uh, I've heard that before. <laughs> yeah, like, why don't you just pick a Nivea, GG. Oh, it's McNugget um, XD going to be we... down at the bottom lane, falling lower and lower. Actually falls to Sona Lisa. Very well done there. Ragnarok getting rid of uh, Olaf's passive defenses. And Graves of Blue Buff not very good to go against. Beautifully done by OG Kush. Only 2,000 behind now. And uh, as soon as you guys see that one, what do you think? Yeah, predictions, mate. Yeah, good. <laughs> good, mate. Good. <laughs> Good, alright. Oh, sweet. Alana Quant is in the co. Oh, I've got to give it to him. That was be beautiful kiting. Get her out of here, please. The, oh, the bottom <laughs> iron woods. He's going to be jumped on. Can he get over the wall? Solar Flare does get dodged by Urchin Strike and will manage to get out of there. Sunwa being followed by the minion Sona Lisa. Too low to chase and a nice escape from I am Woodsy there. Can I tell you something? Oh, what's that, buddy? You have a beautiful voice, mate. Thank you. I, I cringe whenever I hear myself talk. Really? Yes. You have a beautiful voice. I think you've got a great voice. Thank you. No, I think you've got a terrible voice, Cassie. Zip it. <laughs> Sunwa fan club from America. Sunwa is a very skilled Zyra player. He likes to take the skin off just to troll me when I talk about the haunted Zyra skin. Blue buff going it to be worked on by McNugget XD. I am Woodsy, very low on the CS, but very high on the uh, the assists and the dodges with the uh, the playful trickster. Doing very well on that one is being very, very slippery. Do you think Macca is going to get MVP again, guys? No. no I don't really so. know who you're talking about. Is that Idiot Q? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Idi Idiotech, he, he likes to be called. I don't, no, I don't like Mac him. No, no, no. We were just talking to him right. before in real life, and he said Idio Idiot Q is the best. Okay. I'll, yeah, he, I'll take he actually uh, plays in my lounge. He actually lives with me. <laughs> oh, I see. <laughs> It does he bum up you? Oh, we can see the engage down at the bottom lane instantly disengage there from Sunwa. I really hate interrupting you guys, but these guys are just not leaving each other alone. Oh, it's fine. And um, just to answer your question right. before, he doesn't bum off. Uh, the government pays for it. Oh, okay. So, uh, <laughs> what, what's it called in New Zealand? I um. um it's called the oh. mini. He's he is on the youth payment. He's kind of a burden around the house, to be honest. <laughs> <laughs> oh, fair enough. Um, All right. Anyway. I would no, like I think... to do my introduction. I am Blake Blake IX Barton, and I am the 80 carry for Doge for LOL. Oh, well, <laughs> welcome to the show. <laughs> I forgot um... you before because I'm a jerk. Wait, who's I'm party and party and more distinctive name like Jakey. And I'm the what? best in Nivea and Nelson. 
Oh no, it's probably because when you cast, you call me Blake Nine. It's actually it's actually just I X. Oh, it's Blake X. Okay. Blake X. There you go. You learn new things every day, I guess. Yeah, that's all right. Right, so Ollie, introduce yourself, please. Um, yeah, I am Party and Party and Yeah, and I am the best and the other side of Song of Street. <laughs> oh, I see. Um, I actually can confirm that. Oh, down at the bottom lane, we're going to have both junglers going in. Bruce Vi can he combo his way out. No, Strangle Thorns will knock him up. And uh, Sona Lisa. Oh, as uh, I can hear feedback coming from someone. I think Alana's trying to talk, but we keep cutting her out, or it's someone else. Uh, Alana, fix your mic. 10 out of 10. Now, if, if Mecca and friends can show enough heart, then I think they can take this all the way. <laughs> okay. well, I don't reckon they can. They've taken a lead at the moment. They're uh, 3,500 in the lead, and I believe they do get a kill onto Graves here as the culling will go out. Sunlight gets himself a another kill. Little Vane not going to be able to do too much here. And, oh, Solar Flare. No, not enough. Mecca will pick that one up, surely, to your guys, uh, because of your guys' support yeah. on him. Uh, go and give him a uh, pat on the back for that one. That was well done. Actually, I um, might go turn off the router. <laughs> <laughs> that would probably make it pretty difficult for them, I can imagine. Yeah, they don't need him anyway. So. Um, Darius and Draven, his name, uh, there's none is of them wondering in the game, actually. why is it called Gold Coast? Oh, because uh, the League of Legends... Oceania group, they set up a, a uh, tournament just for people in Brisbane in, on the Gold Coast. So, uh, oh. yeah. And these are the yeah. teams that made it to the finals. Yeah. I'll put it back to the title screen quickly. The Bronze, like... Silver and Gold Gold Coast tournament. There was a lot of uh, contention actually in the... Um, in the, in the semi-finals, because Mac is actually platinum at the moment. Oh, idiot Q, oh, sorry. He, he do it. He got boosted. Oh, yeah, but he hit platinum after the tournament started, and the, and the organizer said it was fine. Yeah, but uh, his opponents weren't anyways. too happy. Beast Beast shit. Anyway. <laughs> okay. He got boosted. He paid for it. With his benefit money. <laughs> <laughs> so he doesn't even contribute. Well, he gets youth money and then bums anyway. He didn't yeah. pay me anything. I just did um, it because it's easy. He bought me Mecha Kazakhs for going and getting him food. I feel oh. worth it. Yeah, I'd say that's worth it too, yeah. That's a pretty cool skin. Okay, so Mac is going to be making his way down past the Dragon Pit. Gank at the bottom lane will not land. OG Kush doing a good job at disengaging. Bruce Vi going to fall up at the top. I am Woodsy is, uh, or doesn't actually get that one. Mendrix gets that kill. Who is uh, the Australian trick 2G? He's actually a caster with game. Sorry, he's just started. Which uh, we're looking forward to more That's from iron. him in 2014. We'll have to get Macca in for a cast one time. No, please don't. No. Okay, never mind. No. <laughs> Mac could be good for it, he's got the boys. Yeah, not Mendrix though, please hear it out. Not Mendrix. Oh, Beast's gonna fall at the bottom lane, Mendrix. Will he fall? No, Turtle Stance will keep him up and healthy. So, uh, poor Mac are not gonna get his time in the limelight. Mendrix does How come Mendrix is playing better? Right off. So, oh, actually, the engage forward by Grandpa Cyril. Is it enough? No. Cannot get it after Mendrix's uh, stance dancing gets the Turtle Shield up about five times. And manages to tank the damage that the blue buff he picked up. Definitely going to be helping Mendrix that one. Play like this in solo queue. <laughs> this oh. is actually the second game in a row where Sona Lisa has actually out farmed Mac. <laughs> <laughs> I uh, I've only ever seen Mendrix play Udia and um... Renekton. Yeah, and Renekton. How come they're not playing Vi and Vane? Like. Yeah, isn't that a bit weird that yeah. their support has the AD carry name and their AD carry has the support name? <laughs> sure. Oh. I think that's sharing accounts reported. <laughs> no, they played as OG Gaming before I started covering the tourney and that is it. Oh, Maka almost gets jumped on at the bottom lane. The uh, Cataclysm is available for Bruce Vi. Will he be able to get it on top of Idiot Q here? Sunwa trying to disengage as best as he can. Gonna blow the, t blow the Talisman of Ascension, but it is not enough. Flash gets used by Idiot Q. Cataclysm goes out and he f flash oh, Relentless Pursuits through the wall there. And incredible disengage from the red team, despite Talisman of Ascension not actually landing onto Maka. Gets out by, the, uh, by his own efforts, so very well done there. No comments? I was expecting some kind of snarky, snarky comment from you guys. Oh, I think he just got lucky. Well, I think <laughs> OG, OG Kush. Um, they got a bit of a mountain to climb, but it's not over yet. It's not over till the game's over. That's very yeah. true. Not over till the fat lady sings, my dad says. 
I'm still shocked that a movement wasn't banned. <laughs> <laughs> there was definitely Draven banned, I remember that. Which is uh, definitely banned not safe. Oh, I am Woody well, played a great Draven in the uh, the semis, so it's not too surprising. It's not a show respect I am Woody. When you, usually when you ban your Draven, you're looking for an uh, Nivea to open text. <laughs> I don't get back down on that. It confuses me why they didn't go with it. Because it was there, there for the taking. Um, partying, what's the best Anivia skin out? Um, just go with the OG. OG original. OG original. Okay, so sure. Beast gonna be jumped on at the top lane here. Gonna try and drag his ascent down. Gets true damage on McNugget XD. Gonna get the chase off. Taking a lot of damage. Actually gets stunned up by the Bear Stance. Mendrix is on a rampage despite McNugget XD doing most of the damage there. Maka and friends gonna pick up the mid tower. Am I allowed to say that the Leona pick was a horrible pick into Lucian? Ah, uh, it's... Well, Little Vayne's done well on some of the solar flares, but I do agree that the Leona pick... <laughs> is a, a little iffy into Lucy and he's quite slippery. Particularly with the, what he's doing right now, actually, the Ardent Blaze does get popped by the, um... Oh, well, gets uh, procced by the Culling, rather, so he is able to disengage quite well. As uh, the Flash goes out by a little vein, Undertow will miss, as will the Shark, but Sunwise on point with his Flash auto-attacks, and uh, unfortunately for Bruce Fire, could not engage over the wall there. And things looking disastrous for OG gaming at the current time. Yeah, looking grim. Looking grim. Very grim. Can we think of any more words that are synonymous with uh, grim and dire? And the beer? <laughs> oh, that's, uh, that's a new one. I didn't actually know that. Okay, Mendrick's gonna take and, the. And is the meaning for everything. Fair enough. She's like the 42 of LOL. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> <laughs> Best awkward silence ever. <laughs> oh, no one, I don't know what you mean. Oh, it's, uh, I think it's in one of the Monty Python movies. They say the answer to life is 42. That was um, Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy. Oh, alrighto. I haven't actually seen either of those movies. Wasn't Ooh, Hitchhiker's like Guide the to the Galaxy, series. wasn't that um, a rip-off of Jumanji, or am I thinking another space movie? No, it's a book that got adapted into a movie. Though. Yeah, okay, I thought it was something like that. I didn't actually mind uh, Jumanji and the space one. No, it was horrible. Horrible? Okay. The space one was bad. Cassie, please shush. Zathura. It's called Zathura. Just saying. Okay, uh, for Steve the Yag and Danny the Yag, this is best of three, so uh, Tang and friends are on the precipice of uh, taking the series here. So they are 1 0 up. They are close to winning the Gold Coast tournament. We'll have to see if OG Kush can pull anything out. They are, uh, well, as my fellow co cast said, one of the seven. It is a steep mountain to climb at this point. <laughs> Dude, that's shit talking in game chat. Are they? Yeah. Oh. No, can we just tone down the language there? Yeah, please. I'm, I'm 13 and I don't like swear words. They're being mean to each other in team chat and game chat. Okay, so I'm looking it up and it doesn't look too bad at the moment. Little Vane gonna get taken down outside the dragon. Half of her team is behind her. I am Woodsy gonna take it down. Sona Lisa Bruce Fire gonna try and disengage oh, here as uh, first kill for oh uh, yeah, that is Fizz's first kill there. Bruce Fire gonna be jumped on after being invited to the dance party. Maka gonna be jumped on by Beast, who is the Shivana. Can she take him down? Gonna be using oh. the combo of uh, Culling and Arden Blaze to disengage there. Beast not able to follow up, and Flash and by Arm Woodsy. Beast is going to be going in, right. and... Surrender uh, by turn. Yes. Dude, you were late. I said, I said, I said, I'd like to give MVP to Mendrix for his great earlier playing that he can't do in solo queue. <laughs> and Tang and friends have beaten the bot teams. When will we start the real final? Congratulations. Oh, that that was a bit friends. out of line, I think. And also, um, congratulations to OG Kush. You put up a... A good fight. A great series. But unfortunately, it didn't go your way today. Yes. Better Thank luck. you, my friends. If it makes you feel any better, Mac dropped out of school for two years to get this good. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so he did a bit of the uh, XJ9. He did hey, the same XJ9 thing. is my favorite. Is he? Yeah. Or you're scared for liking him. <laughs> <laughs> well, well, now, no. That is a bit out of line, my friend. Oh, report Leona for no items. That's why they lost. <laughs> So unfortunate, little Vane didn't. That's because she didn't play Vi. I mean, Vane, I think we no. have Maka in the chat now. How are you, Maka? Hey boys, how's it going? Your, your, your yeah, not too shabby. In the game being, interview. Uh, in the game you. interview. <laughs> in the game um, interview. Yeah, yeah, of course. So, so how was losing farm both games to their bad ADK? 
Ground and leaving, but <laughs> Since we participated in commentary, do we get triumphant rise as well? No. Damn. Oh. <laughs> if I'm getting a post game interview, I don't want to be bullied. Okay, here's the case. So, why did you play AD carry when you're a shit AD carry? Got oh, man. Oh, man. Man. Oh, come I on. got what? <laughs> Two games. Okay, Sorry. okay. I've got a real pressing hey, question. Why didn't you how did, how did your parents feel when you told them that you wanted to be a pro gamer? <laughs> All yep, right. we'll get a no comment there. Right. How did they feel about you dropping out of school? How did um, they feel that you still shit? Mac, when will I next be able to see... And God damn it. <laughs> God damn it. All right, guys, thank you for your input. I'll have to wrap Thanks. it up now. Thanks for the cast, mate. Okay. Have a great night, guys. And thank you for tuning in, ladies and gentlemen. It has been incredibly enjoyable. Bad luck to OG Gaming, who uh, unfortunately could not pull out the victory in Game 2 in the end. They definitely had a much better showing in Game 1. But alas, the uh, the Gold Coast Tournament will come to its conclusion. Congratulations, Tang and friends, for walking away with the victory and a uh, very in-depth interview after the game with uh, Macca's girlfriend, will be very uh, proud of that one, I am sure, as will uh, I Am Woodsy's girlfriend, who I don't think got to cast with me in the end, but uh, maybe next time. So have a wonderful night, ladies and gents. Be safe, and uh, or have fun during Christmas, but make sure you are safe. And uh, we're looking forward to the new year. Uh, I'm just thinking uh, there might be one or two more casts before we move into 2014, but, uh, yeah, so stay safe, everyone. Have a wonderful rest of 2013. This is Cold Blood and the other eight casters signing out.